Hey guys, welcome back to MLB 21, the show Red Sox Franchise Mode. And today we'll be taking on the last game of this three game series against Tampa Bay Rays. And so far, the series has been 1 1, and uh, our record has improved uh, much better right now. We are still taking the uh, the top of the ALE standing, and I'm and I believe that uh, the margin between the Yankees and also the Red Sox has been, you know, fur uh, furthering away from each other, which is a good thing. So um, at least, you know, we have a comfortable season. We hope that's going to be the case. But today it is going to be a very difficult game because we have Tyler Glass now pitching for the Tampa Bay Rays. As I said before, well, I, I didn't say this before, but Glass now is probably one of the best pitchers out there for sure. Unfortunately, he went down for the uh, Tommy John surgery, but in the game, he's pretty he's pretty damn good. Striking out for Dugo and also getting Sander Bogarts out with the pop-up to end the top of the first. And we have Martin Perez on the other side uh, with his record 5-5 five and five with an ERA 4.41. And he is currently the highest ERA pitcher that we have in the in the team so far but then right there just striking out the first batter and getting a rosarena out right there to end the bottom of the first inning in an 0-2 count top of the second we have devers on the plate goes down on strike with a fastball pretty much down the middle uh, there's no arguments to that michael chavez last time out got an rbi single and today right there he got a rbi uh rbi single as well to uh to take this game one nothing which is a very good thing very good start for us 0-2 count to kevin kiermeyer and he is going to grounds that one six four three but unfortunately his speed it's way too good couldn't get him out at first instead it's a forced out rbi forced out and right here i have no idea what happened i'm pretty sure perez wanted to throw home and then he knew it would be uh it would be such a bad idea by the time he tried to throw to first it's too late and Tampa Bay Rays um, got one run back. But then, top of the third, we responded immediately with the RBI single by Sander Bogarts. And we tied the game 2-2. Has, it has been a very interesting, entertaining game so far. 0-1 count, uh, bottom of the third right here. Uh, Martin Perez uh, gave up another run. Three runs in a row in, in, in three different innings, which is quite... Uh, quite sad to see top of the fourth right here Marvin Gonzalez go down on strike check swing but then he definitely went over 3-2 count to Alex Verdugo and yeah Tyler Glass now app apparently in the game he uh, he's suffering an injury which means Rich Hill will be replacing him last time out he was a player of the game but then right here 3-1 count to JD Martinez top of the fourth and uh, two men are on base and that's how JD Martinez got out right there Martin Perez 1-2 pitch to Kevin Kiermaier beautiful Beautiful circle change to uh, to strike him out right there. 0 1 count to Man Manuel Margaret. Um, ground ball to second base to first base to end the bottom of the fourth. Moving on to the top of the fifth right here. Hunter Renfro against Rich Hill. 2, two 0 pitch and uh, a very comfortable 6 4 3 double play. Good flip by Adamas to end this inning. And uh, 1 1 count, man on first and third. Men in first and third, and we got another double play to end the inning. Minimized damage, and Peter Fairbanks will be replacing Rich Hill uh, for the uh, for the top of the six right here. That would be his ninth game of the season. Two two count to uh, to for Dugo, but great diving play, good effort right there. But unfortunately, it is going to be only a single. But we tie this game up three three. Uh, for Dugo with a RBI single at the top of the six and uh, bases loaded again one now JD Martinez up to play and he is going to lines that one down the middle for a base hit two runs are going to score for sure and we are taking a 5-3 lead uh, just like that we score three runs in this inning to make a big difference and uh, that would be the end for Peter Fairbanks and Colin Mahuge will be uh, will be coming on to, uh, to try to finish this inning up and a 3-2 count to center Bogart. And he is going to lines that one to center field. Hard hitting ball. But uh, unfortunately is right there to the center fielder. But meanwhile one run is going to score 6-3. We, we are extending the lead to 6-3 right now. And then bottom of the 6 right here with Josh Taylor uh, coming from the bullpen. 
25th game for him in the season with an ERA 1.13 with a record of 3 and 1 with 11 holds in total, which is quite a lot to be honest. 1 2 count, striking out Francisco Mejia for the second out. Still, a man is on second with two outs. Uh, Kevin Kiermaier is on the plate. 2 2 count, goes down on strike with a slider, nowhere close, making contact with the ball. 2 1 pitch to uh, Mar Gonzalez. Unfortunately, uh, another double play. That would be the third double play of today's game. That's quite a lot, to be honest. And then Ryan Brazier will be coming on to pitch at the bottom of the seventh with an ERA 0 0.99 right below uh, right below one. And Brendan Lowe is going to launch that one to opposite field for an oppo home run, solo oppo home run, by, but they're still trailing by two runs. But what a great piece of hitting by uh, Brendan Lowe. I know the pitch was a little bit mislocated, but great job by just you know staying with that pitch. Pushes to an off-ball and somehow made a home run. And uh, Chavis gone down on strike. And yeah, Chaz Rowe is pitching for the uh, Tampa Bay Rays. Very good inning. One, two, three inning for him to end the top of the eighth. Adam Adovino will be coming on. P he pitched for the last two uh, last two games, but today hopefully he has the energy for that. But unfortunately right here, one out and really Adamas hit a solo home run to left field. That's a no doubter. And uh, they got one run back. The, the Our lead has um, changed from th three runs to one run, which is quite... Uh, which is quite tough right now. Diego Castillo will be coming on for the uh, top of the ninth right here. 0-2 count to JD Martinez. And he is going to get strikeout right there with the slider inside corner for the first K. And base is loaded right here. Danny Santana is going to ground this one up the middle for a base hit. Two runs are going to score. And we took the lead back or we had the lead. We extended the lead back to 8-5. Eight, eight, and uh, Danny Santana has been struggling quite struggling for the past few series but today he delivers one a big he delivers a big big one today uh a rbi uh rbi rbi single two rbi two rbi single and matt barnes pit will be pitching last inning striking out the first batter and one two count to manuel margaret and he is going to go down on strike um for for the second out looking pretty good so far and then Yandy Diaz right here is going to hit a ground ball to first base, but great sliding play by uh, Marvin Gonzalez to end this game 8-5. A very entertaining game back and forth, uh, scoring runs back and forth between these two teams early in the innings. And we were settled down for uh, you know for, for a pretty fixed game. And all of a sudden, um, Tampa Bay Rays hit two solo home runs, which uh, tightens the lead a little bit. But then uh, in the end, Danny Santana came up big time right there. Two run RBI single to further extend the lead. Play of the game, Matt Barnes pitching one inning, allowing two hits, actually no hits, uh, striking out two, uh, striking out two batters. And Martin Perez lining up for the win. Uh, he only pitched one five point one inning, allowing eight hits, three runs, and also striking out three. Peter Fairbanks will be uh, didn't really quite uh, didn't really get an out at all. He got. He got three earned runs, allowing three hits, allowing one walk. And Matt Barnes, again, he uh, he got the 27th save of the season. And that will be the end of this three-game series against Tampa Bay Rays. And we beat them 2-1 in the series. So in the next series, we will be traveling back to Fenway Park for a three-game series against Kansas City Royals. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next series.